May 16th, University Settlements Performance Project will present their series, SHARE. S-H-A-R-E, at the Ingersoll Community Center, just steps away from here. And here to tell us about SHARE and the connection with NYCHA residents, and by the way, their partnership with the folks here at BRIC, are the founder of the Performance Project and the Arts Program Director at University Settlements, Allison Fleminger. Welcome to BK Live, Allison. Thank you. I'm excited to be man, here. And the man, well, of course, <laughs> good to have you. The man sitting next to her is the Senior Director of Brooklyn Programs. What's up, Brooklyn? Anthony Shaw. Hello. Thanks for joining us, Anthony. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Good so man. let's talk a little bit about what is the mission of University Settlement and how did you, how did it come to pass? Can we start with you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, University Settlement's been around for 132 years. Um, we feel small. This is our 700th episode. <laughs> you guys are blowing us out of the water. Go on. Um, and the idea was to um, bring people together to share cultural capital. Um, and uh, University Settlement is actually the first settlement house in the nation, and it kind of spawned a, a movement uh, that spread across the country. And um, we're really all about creating programs uh, that strengthen uh, lives for low-income New Yorkers. That's amazing. So then you do the same thing through a Brooklyn lens. So yes, what is yes. Brooklyn bringing to this whole experiment? So University Settlement in Brooklyn, uh, it really looks like a combination of Cornerstone Community Centers, which includes Ingersoll and Atlantic Terminal, mm -hmm. but we also provide uh, campus programming in a number of elementary and middle schools across Brooklyn as well. Awesome. So our, our work is really kind of comprehensive. Like she was sharing, like it's, it's a combination of human services, but also in Brooklyn, we really focus on how to provide education support as well. And the arts have been core to the model since its inception because it was really believed by um, uh, the people who started the Settlement House movement that the arts were how you brought community together. Wow, that's phenomenal vision, especially looking back over 100 years later and we see Very people scrambling to bring those programs in because that's really how you connect with people, right? Mm -hmm. What is it that makes your art programming so unique? Uh, well, it's really specifically designed to um, bring together uh, artists at all stages of development. Uh, we, we focus on uh, young artists in the community and we bring together professional artists who are really interested in developing their art practice as a social practice. So they want to use art to build community in creative ways. Um, and that's our artists in residency program. That's amazing. So it's intergenerational, Absolutely. it changes genres and folks and levels and beginners and mentors, all these things put together, yeah? Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah, and that's um, our SHARE series really started as a way to um, bring our professional artists, our young artists who are emerging into the professional art world and looking for ways to kind of navigate their way into the art sector and demystify what yeah. it's all about. Um, uh, it, it, the SHARE brings everyone together, um, also with uh, young people in our community who are maybe making art for the first time. Anthony, do you work with those sort of young people that are making yes. art for the yes. first time? What do you think, what do you hope is their takeaway from that? Well, I mean, for me, I think a lot of the, the, the opportunities that we'll provide them will be really breaking down barriers with regards to exposure and access. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of times with the arts, I mean, that, that can be sometimes an issue for, for folks who are really um, in the Ingersoll community. And I think, you know, the Share Series as well as the, the, the Performance Project are, are opportunities where, you know, kids getting an opportunity to kind of be actively involved in kind of creating and connecting with arts at a younger age can really just build them with, you know, the confidence, but one also like the really the, the competence as well to be able to be an artist and to be able to see themselves as actual artists and not just somebody who, you know, may have an interest in arts but not really know how to pursue it yeah. or even how this interest could lead to a lifelong love of a profession or even just, yeah. you know, hobbies. But it could change the world. Like, we see these communities and the amount of talent that's just there that needs to be nurtured. Like, there were kids from a block in Detroit mm -hmm. who completely changed the whole trajectory of music and entertainment just because someone helped and believed in, like, we got Motown. The yeah. same thing could happen minutes away from here. Yep. We, we really focus uh, at the Performance Project on our fellowship program, which is specifically designed to um, help our homegrown young artists. And uh, I think SHARE is such a, a crucial 
time for them to build their network yeah. um, and to witness each other and to feel that their voices really matter and um, and understand they're part of a large community yeah. of incredible talent. So what are we going to see at Ingersoll Community Center just days from now? What can we expect? Well, I think with, with regards to our share, you're going to see a lot of very powerful performances, a combination of spoken word and dance, and I think we also have some folks who will come out and sing yeah, as well. The, the, um Brooklyn uh, Slam team, poets oh, um, yeah. from Brooklyn they have good Slam friends team. Of ours here. <laughs> yeah. We have um, DJ Ill Spoken. Uh, we have one of my new favorite dance crews, the Nameless Crew. Um, we have uh, uh, some young people from oh, Anthony's okay. program yeah. who have just started learning African dance, oh, cool. um, and a senior choir uh, wow. that has been um, uh, nurtured by. Uh, Jack, which is a wonderful uh, oh, yeah. cultural Run venue. Away, really. Yeah, we love yeah. Jack. These are all our friends. <laughs> yes. Well, another friend, of course, is Brick. Tell us about that partnership. Come on. So, I mean, we're really excited about our partnership with Brick. I mean, really, we were talking about this Community Arts Council, and a lot of that is really through the partnership with Brick. I think for us, it's really being able to leverage both the unique strengths of University Settlement, which is an understanding of human services and community engagement, but also just like the rich resources that Brick provides. Um, really having a team of really talented and qualified artists, but also folks who really understand that arts is a part of everyday life and it should really be infused into everything. And I think those two things together is going to support our, our work towards putting together our Community Arts Council. Yeah, and. Um I think this is a groundbreaking partnership between a community-based organization and a cultural organization mm -hmm. where we're really coming together to ask the community like how should we be partnering what should we be doing so yeah. we're bringing we're creating a, you know a community arts council uh, the community, community members will apply and be paid um, to serve on this council. Um, they'll get all sorts of uh, training in um, cultural organizing, and they'll really have their voices heard in what kind of artists should be making work in their communities and what kinds of experiences the community really wants. So I think this is very, very groundbreaking. Um, and you know, our share series this year was uh, funded um, as part of the uh, New York City Cultural Plan. Right. And we have been uh, collecting almost a thousand voices from NYCHA residents and low-income uh, New Yorkers, and they have uh, really been saying over and over again uh, that, that, that want. we want more arts funding in uh, community spaces. Um, so, <laughs> so, no, so you said it all. May 16th, yeah. find yourself at the Ingersoll Community Center. It's going to be a phenomenal event. It is. The Share Series. Get out there and share with the people. May 16th, we'll yes. see you there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so Allison. Much. Thank you very much.